Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. So, I left you on a cliffhanger, on a cliffhanger, Clint Eastwood hanger, cliffhanger. CVS, yeah, CVS, Fendi, tried it out. So I'm like, you could check out the video that I posted, which was my haul, my CVS haul, where I purchased the uh, Dior Addict first formulation. And what I thought was Fendi, what I thought was Fendi. So I sprayed it. Let's spray it again just for... Awful. Oh my God. It's like <laughs> gag reflex awful. Seriously. My mom had this in the 80s and the 90s and she still has somewhere a bottle of, of some residue left over. I know how Fendi smells like. This is not Fendi. But before we get into any legal difficulties uh, with CVS, CVS, my dear, I have done my research and um, you did not sell me a fake. This is authentic. But it's actually, honestly, I would have preferred it to be fake because then at least Fendi would have saved their name. You know what I mean? So what happens is I've done my research. I've checked the... Um, the batch code, it does exist, and I double-checked it. Yes, it's around 2011. The perfume has been discontinued, then brought back to life, then discontinued again. Um, on every perfume forum, literally every single human being that describes the reformulated version of Fendi is gagging in the negative way. I have never, guys, ever in my... And Fendi, shame on you. For doing this. This is disgusting. I have never ever in my life smelled a reformulated perfume that is not just a bad reformulation, but has nothing, not one single thing to do with the original. Nothing. You know, I talk a lot about uh, Dolce Gabbana. This is the original with the sticker. Uh, the reformulations have the printed name. Reformulations are awful. I really don't like them. But you still smell kind of, you recognize it's like a horrible cheap version of Dolce Gabbana, but it's still Dolce Gabbana. This is not Fendi. This is like, there's nothing in there, nothing in there that's left of a fragrance that used to be magical, magical. Fendi was warm, spicy. It was endearing, it was, it made you feel protected, it made you feel enveloped in, in, in a cloud of soft, soft powder. And what made Fendi so spectacular to me was Carnation. I love Carnation in every perfume. Carnation can have, together with, with cloves, can have such a sweet, a soft, soft, sweet touch. And it gave Fendi and a sweet touch amidst the oriental spiciness of it. It was magical, seriously magical. This is junk. It smells like cheap soap that has been rubbed in the dirt and then dried out in the sun. It hasn't been used for ages. And then like you're trying to find a soap and then you find a soap, but it's, you know, when a soap is so dried out, even if you put water on it, you try to rub it on your hands, it just won't create the foam anymore. That's how dried out and disgusting it is. And it all like cracked up, the soap cracks up and you get those like <laughs> canyon deep crevices inside of it. That's how bad this is. Oh my gosh. And you know, I had my suspicions the second I pulled it out of the package. You see how light this liquid is? The original Fendi had a golden ambery color. It was something else. It was something else. This... I mean, thank goodness it's such, it's such a small bottle. It's only 25 ml. Could you imagine if I bought a 100 milliliter? <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. I don't know. You tell me if anybody tried this. I don't even want to go into the ingredients, guys. Seriously, this does not merit. Um, also because, you know, Fendi or whoever for them is lying. Because wherever you look online for the ingredients of the Fendi, of the first Fendi fragrance, you're going to find the listing of the ingredients of the first perfume. The first 
official version. Nobody, there's no official listing of the reformulated crap that's in this bottle. Like, so I'm not even going to go into detail because I personally smell out synthetic cheapness. It's almost like they chipped on a rock and put the dust of the rock inside alcohol and sprayed it with a little bit of rose and, and, and some vetiver. That's literally what it is. It's disgusting. Oh my God. No. Mm -mm. So again, when I first smelled this out of the box, I was so shocked. I thought to myself, oh my gosh, CVS sells fake fragrances because this is not Fendi. But then upon doing a lot of research, I find out, no, this is the new real Fendi. Well, back in 2011. So I don't know if they, I think it's discontinued by now. I hope this is discontinued. How can this sell? But CVS did sell an authentic. It just sold an authentic Fendi. That Fendi has royally effed up with their reformulations. And I don't even know at this point, like what, do they want to save money? And what do you want to save money? Nobody's buying it to begin with. I say either you kill it if you want to go cheap and you don't want to invest a penny, a decent penny in making something that's amazing and flawless like Fendi used to be as a fragrance. Either you keep it the way it is or have some dignity, have some dignity and delete it. Just cancel it, take it off the market because this throws so much shade on your brand. It throws so much shade on your integrity, which you lack completely, because to approve of this product means that you're as phony as the reformulation. Elker, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do thumb it up and let me know what your thoughts are on this trash, if you've tried it and compared it to the original Fendi. Uh, in the comment section down below. Thumb up this video, guys. And if you haven't already, but do wish to consider subscribing to my channel, Hiva, on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. No matter how much trash these luxury brands throw at us, yeah, we're gonna get angry. We're gonna get angry as F. But we'll never give up on love. Love you, see you soon. Take care, bye.